Hello everyone, it's tech vlog time and I wanted to have a little talk with you lot about cube cases because I'm a cube case user, I've always been one, uh, actually not always, I've been one since the Prodigy was around which was a single chamber cube case, now everyone's going dual chamber and uh, in particular today I wanted to talk to you about a new case by Russian Tech called the Arneas, now it was originally called the Atlas which was an easy to pronounce name, you know, Atlas. Now it's Aeneas or so, something like that. I have no idea how to pronounce it. Uh, there might be a review on that case coming later, but for now, um, yeah, I really have no idea. So I'm just going to call it the Cube by Regentech. And so what this case has that's so different to other cases is that the the, uh, the motherboard tray is removable, which, you know, who was it again? The 100% kick-ass dude, uh, 3D gay man. So if the motherboard tray is uh, removable, then you have like this woman with a 100% kick-ass t-shirt pop up in uh, the right bottom corner. That was, yeah, those videos were awesome. Anyway, uh, I'm going to look, turn around, have a look at the spec list, tell you what I think because you can nowadays pretty much review a product from the pic just the spec list and the pictures. Um, and then the only thing you don't know is how well is something built, but I know that with Regentech, uh, even though their budget, I know they're pretty good quality-wise. So I'm going to turn around, load up the website, and uh, look at pictures and everything. Okay then, so let's start with reading the feature list. Uh, it says, elegant LED light bar design with an on and off switch. Now, I don't know why they put the on-off switch between brackets, because that's the favorite part of it, in my opinion, having a switch to turn your lights off because a lot of us might want to leave their PCs running overnight while they're sleeping a few meters further, especially if you're like me and you have to upload videos at night. Um, so that is an amazing feature. I, I really like that. And you know, you have these nice, uh, elegant LED bars. Um, User-friendly design, removable motherboard frame and tool free screws. Again, great unless they over tighten it, which is something I always rant about. Uh, and then people say it's because they don't want it to get loose in shipping, but most of us only build our PCs once, so yeah, that's great. Uh, we have a classic design with efficient and mass airflow. Now, looking at it, it isn't really classic looking, I have to say. It looks alright, uh, quite good actually, but in my opinion, it looks a bit like the, the Argos, which I reviewed, I'll link it here. Uh, and they gave that like I don't know if you guys know Liberty Walk, a uh, cartoon, it's like they gave them the body kit for it, you know, it's just a fat version of it. That's, it looks okay, uh, I guess. Um, so we have a complete black coated interior. Now that's pretty cool, uh, especially on the, uh, the white version, you get this panel look again, kind of car-wise reminds me of a uh, Oh, the good old Echi Roku, and uh, yeah, that's cool. Uh, we have a sturdy and reliable chassis body. Uh, made from 0.8 millimeter steel. That's cool. That's really cool. Okay, so we can accommodate a 240 uh, radiator in the front and a 280 at the top. Now this is a single, actually it's a dual chamber, but it's really a, cha a single chamber uh, design. Like it is laid out more or less like Prodigy, uh, even though that um, people at Ryzen Tech will completely deny that. We can install uh, up to eight fans. We can have four uh, hard drives and uh, five if you use SSDs. Uh, we can have, what else can we have? We have USB 3, blah, blah, blah. Uh, it's all CPU cooler, so up to 180 millimeter. That's pretty cool. So let's just look at the pictures. And uh, really weird picture thing here on our website. So again, we see a tinted window. I'm not a fan of those. I'm not a fan of, wind of uh, windows in general, uh, even though the operating system is great. Um, so as we can see, we have five PCI expansion slots. So that's great. It's better than four, I guess. Um, but I'm already seeing something weird in the bottom, and I'm going to talk about that a little bit later on. Yeah, so uh, both rear fans are 140, so that's great. And uh, yeah, let's just look at the side view, because I limit my, uh, my videos time-wise. Um, so you have this um, four high uh, hard drive, which is great, and you know then there's a, an angle bracket to give some stability to everything. But then there's a massive waste of space actually, because the power supply is rotated, and then we, we waste an awful lot of space behind there, so I don't really like that. Okay guys, so what do I like about this case? It's very user friendly, it's well built, 
probably because it's Rosintech and they're always well built. Uh, it looks cool, it has lights that you can turn off and if you have a switch for one thing you can maybe mod it to become something else as well, that's always cool. A lot of front I.O. so we had two USB 2's, two USB 3's, uh, the other stuff of course all. Um, we have room for card readers if you still use those. Uh, we have room for DVD drives, long graphics cards, very tall CPU coolers, that's a definite thumbs up for me for that. And uh, what I don't like is the total waste of space in the bottom area because there's an, you can't really use it for anything other than stashing cables but there's a fan behind it and there's no fan grill over it so that is just wasted room and I would really like to see some, them do something else with the way they, the hard drives are mounted so that there's extra room there for maybe SSDs or whatever they want to put in there. Anyway, like, dislike, share, comment, and don't forget to subscribe to um, Tech Vlog Time. And thank you all very, very much for watching.